Ladies and gentlemen, James here from Team Nameless alongside with Olivia. Yes, from Let's Talk About Games, taking a second take. I know, shocker. So today we are playing more Mario Kart DS and you have played a decent bit of Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, not very good at it. We played Wii and 8, I know. And then did, have you played this one? But like this, this, this course right here? Or uh, this, this specific version of Mario Kart? Not on the DS. So, uh, yeah. So, um, how's it going? <laughs> really asking. Yeah. Oh, good. It's going good. It's going great. Going great. <laughs> going great. So, what's been happening with us? So, uh, as you know, uh, that first video we did is now up to 3,500 views. Yes. Uh, and I guess this will be an announcement because we can never stay on topic. But uh, we're going to be at Classic Game Fest in Austin and uh, July, the end of July 2016. So if uh, any of you are watching this in the future, which I feel bad for you because you clearly don't have very good taste in videos to watch, uh, that's what's going on with me, and that's great. I'm going to Austin next week, but I won't be yet. Wait. Yeah. Like the 8th through 10th? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so are Kenzie and I. No, no, week before that, sorry. Oh. Week before. But next week is the 8th through 10th. Well, go we're going to be in Austin at the same time. Would that be crazy if we saw each other? It yes. might be. I mean, uh, what, what do you do? I mean, we're thinking about like you know doing what we normally do and like looking for get video games and then because like living in Texas my entire life, I re I realized something very important. Well, not my entire life, but you know what I mean, like a large chunk of my life. And that's that. As much touristy stuff as there is in Texas. I've done almost none of it. <laughs> I've already, like, been to all the touristy stuff, so... Is it all it's cracked up to me? Yeah, uh, we're literally going to Austin just to try a whole bunch of food. Uh, what food, food places are you trying to think about going The original Torchies. Gotta try the original Torchies. Uh-huh, as you know, we like our, our tacos, because oh, yes. you need tacos to taco about games. Yes, always. And then we'll probably try Halal Brews. I oh, went there what, last year. What did they have there? And what's it called again? Halal Bros. It's like Mediterranean food. It's so good. Oh, nice. It's like a Nico Nico's down in the Houston Heights. And for those who are new to our channel, yes, we really are off this far off topic. But hey, as much as I love Mario Kart, food is, is even better. So anyways, go on. Oh, and then I'll probably try this place called Voodoo Donuts. Oh, that place is good. I have yeah. been to Voodoo Donuts. Nice place. Yeah, apparently, don't you have to like place your order like ahead of time? Oh, I have no idea. I think there's a place like that in Houston. Uh, I remember going to a place and they had like all these weird, crazy donut designs and stuff. Hmm. We'll see. There's plenty to eat in Austin. You can never like. You can always find good food in Austin. <laughs> but do you know it's better than donuts? What? D's nuts. Accurate. Ac accurate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, uh, uh, have you been to Austin like recently, or is this gonna be like the first time? First time this summer. Nice, nice. Uh, I haven't been since I was about oh, maybe twelve. Oh my god. <laughs> and then keep in mind this this is a city which is only about oh I just got knocked off the course by a pendulum. I guess you could say the clock was ticking to my demise. Yes. I remember this course for sure. I played this one and I hated it. This one along with Rainbow Road, but I played Which just... Rainbow Road? Uh, the, Wii one? the Wii version? Probably. Yeah, but like, <laughs> most frustrating course on the planet. Oh no, I know more frustrating courses. Have you tried any of the Mario Kart Wii custom tracks? You can do custom tracks for that? Uh, or has that I mean, been a thing? You need to... It's a hack. Uh, and some of them are really good and cool, and some of those tracks are trash. Absolute trash. I've never I've never seen it like the, the hack before. I didn't even know it existed until now. So. Oh, it, it's really cool. Uh, I like to watch uh, Sully Pones series on that. 
So uh, if you have a chance, check out his series on YouTube because that's a, a real interesting thing just to show off. And they did custom characters as well. I kind of liked uh, seeing uh, Mega Man as a Mario Kart racer because you know how much I love my Mega Man. Hey, you're in first place. You are, yeah. Huh. I thought that getting knocked off by that pendulum would have sent me back more. So let's do an update from our video. Since then, have you gone game hunting again? No, I haven't. Uh, Mainly due to college stuff, but hopefully soon I can go again. Are, are you hoping to go into a Goodwill and find a stack of NES uh, games again? I don't know, but I do have my DS, and so uh, you're gonna have to like hook me up on this Animal Crossing. Oh, uh, Wild World? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the thing is, do you still want an N64 again? Uh, I don't know, like, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to play it, like, as much as I want. You know, That's the thing. college, and uh, they limit you to what you can bring. At least my college. Really? Yeah. Oh. You see, uh, alright, so, should we, should we just plow out, say, at least what cities we're going to for college, not to actual universities, because... I don't want stalkers. <laughs> true, 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 true. So you're going, you're going to be right outside of Austin, right? Yeah, about 30. Yeah, and obviously I'm going back up to Victoria, which is in BC for that. And I've been processed for that. And that, interesting. It, it's so different from so many American colleges up there. Like, uh, it's single dorms, so I don't have to share a dorm. I have to share a bathroom, but not a dorm. <laughs> yeah, but I only have to share it with like two other people. Yeah. See, we, like, our dorms, it's like two people to a dorm, and then all four of us share that. Goodness. But yours is like apartment style, isn't it? Kind of. It's, it, it's, it's weird. At least the dorm I'm staying in. The, and then, um, I guess what's going to be interesting too, is that, and why I'm kind of excited, is like I I know people like I I have friends like up in Victoria and whatnot. Grand, I haven't seen you know them in a while because you know, I haven't been up there in a while. But for the most part, it's like a clean slate. Yeah, I'm excited. So am I. So am I. I'm excited to, to try something different, move somewhere new. Yeah. I found out uh, that with uh, the type of visa I got, uh, I can actually legally work up there. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get a job, so, like, I'm settled. Mm -hmm. Like, so, cause like it'll be stressful, no, cause it'll be stressful, like, trying to adjust to everything. Well, so, I don't want to think about a job. <laughs> well, have you set, set your schedule yet, stuff? Yeah. So, uh, I'm not going to have to wake up, well, I say this, but I'm probably going to wake up early anyways, because, uh, it's two hours behind there, and I usually wake up at around nine anyways, so, I think I, seeing as they're two hours behind where we're at, I think I can easily adjust to waking up at, like, seven, but I don't have any classes that start till afternoon. Yeah, my yeah. Friend, I think my earliest class is, like, which is, like, really Yeah. It's nice. Like, honestly, look, looking back at high school and then looking at, forward to what I'm going to do, like, going into what I'm doing, you know, being more of the fine art centered person I am, just, you know, yeah. saying that. I'm not going to have to take any math classes or stuff like that. So lucky I have to take calculus. Well, but you're going into medicine, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, yeah, but, like, I don't understand why you need like, I can understand all this, like, chemistry and biology and maybe, like, an anatomy class, but not, not calculus. Not calculus. I can understand maybe if you're an engineer, but, like... I, I'm sure there are some parts of it that apply to it that you'll, you'll learn. Uh, as someone who never had to actually take calculus, though, uh... That sucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. Ugh, freak. Uh, that's why I took that's why I took AP stats my senior year. And not only that, but the teacher I had, like sometimes we'd have days where she'd be like, Hey, do you guys wanna like 
bring food and make pancakes and stuff, and not, we'd be like, <laughs> yes. And this was an AP course, so it was great. Sounds like that one day an orchestra Matt made a... Yeah, our friend Matt Havel uh, brought his uh, waffle iron. <laughs> yeah. That was, oh, it was during, it was during um, midterms. Yes. It was during midterms. And it was the day that, like, it was, orchestra was, orchestra was second. And so, like, we just ate, like, waffles for two hours. Uh, it was great. Actually, speaking of waffles, uh, and going back to restaurants for a bit. Mm. Well, first off, I'm getting back onto, the, you know, the actual game that we're, com <laughs> we're supposed to be commentating over. It's so, like, uh, we're going through Airship Fortress right now, and this, as a kid, was actually my favorite uh, stage out of any Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like, airships have always just kind of captivated me, you know? Just, it's like, it's a boat, but in the sky, and like, that, yeah. that sounds like such a stupid way to describe it, but... You know what this course reminds me of? What? Bowser's Castle. That's what it reminds me of for some reason. I don't know why. Because it was, uh... I think it's just like the way it looks. Like I can tell that it's a ship, but like it just—it reminds me of Bowser's Castle. What, like the DS one? Because now I see it, I, had, I think they might have reused like some of like the, um, what is it? Like, some of the same graphics from a uh, yeah. the, the Bowser's Castle stage or track and a uh, DS uh, on this one as well. But it's still a cool course. Yeah, I know. Nowadays, I like the Waluigi pinball stage a bit more, but. Is that one on? Is that one on? Uh, maybe? Uh, we got carried away and we skipped two of the tracks. <laughs> Good uh, job. <laughs> but going back to restaurants now, uh, there's this place in Houston called The Funky Chicken. And have you ever had chicken and waffles? I have, I have had chicken and waffles. I love chicken and waffles. It's been a while. And of those wondering, it's like, that sounds disgusting. Try chicken and waffles with gravy. <laughs> Yeah, I think I had chicken and waffles when I went to San Diego one time. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, so it's not just a southern thing. No. And, uh, oh, we want, it's, it's over. Let, let's see how we did. Did oh. we? Oh, that's it? Yeah, that, all, Okay, there are only three, there are only three tracks. Four tracks. Four, okay. As I said, we talked over two of them. Oh, that's true. Well, I can't count them off. So, uh. Did we get first? I mean, seeing as we got first in like every track, we probably did, but. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> we, and we got an A! Yay! An A for A! How about you like, comment, subscribe? Yeah! A! <laughs> it's, I yeah. tried to be clever. Did, did I succeed? You succeeded. Yay! A! So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for Olivia for coming on. Yup. Yep, yep. Uh, hopefully I'll have you back soon. And uh, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time.